Hello, everyone. I hope that everyone's uh, keeping healthy and safe out there. So what if you do not have a 30 to 60 degree triangle and you desperately need to do some architectural work? So here I'm going to be showing you how to do this. And uh, you need just a simple thing like a calling card. So right here I'm using my personal calling card. So measure right roughly about eight centimeters by 4.65 centimeters. And you will get roughly and cut it, of course, diagonally like so, and you will get something very similar to a 30 to 60 degree type of angle. So I'm gonna be showing you how this is gonna work. Um, so I'm gonna be using this uh, homemade triangle in creating and demonstrating a staircase in orthographic so that I've already created the pencil outline up there and I showed this in another video and how to create this so I'm not going to be explaining you can read the text in the second round and if, if you wish and how to create this very quickly. So this is the uh, section of this staircase volume. And I'm just projecting from the uh, plan, which is now what I'm inking. So here, I'm gonna be using this homemade triangle in creating an uh, an isometric which is just using these 30 degree angle for the uh, x and the y axis so right now I'm drafting this like so so I created the volume first and now I'm trying to segment exactly the first nine steps so right now i'm inking the ridges of the first flight of steps and using the xing method to determine the in between ridges So the this technique is a bit diff, uh, a, a bit more difficult because I have to align the uh, ruler exactly from the uh, horizontal a perfect horizontal and vertical line that I have created at the start by using the edges of the paper that I'm using here I'm using an A4 uh, A4 paper So now I'm completing the first uh, flight of steps to the landing, which is all in all nine steps. Okay, the ninth step is going to be on the landing itself. So I'm doing the same thing for the last um, flight of steps from the landing to the second floor. So I'm using that X method again to determine to subdivide this into eight equal parts. And these edges are from the ridge of the steps. So um, because the, the ridges uh, lines are, are very dense, so I'm just doing this by eye and you can see how I did it. There you go. Okay, so there's a bit of discrepancy that uh, happens because of uh, this is, after all, a very unconventional, but uh, if you need to create this at home and without your um, 
real equipment for drafting. And this is one way of doing it. And there you go. So I'm doing the finishing of the last few railings on the landing itself. And this concludes this tutorial. Hoping that it has been useful for you. Till the next time. Bye.